Time wasted saying it's impossible can be better spent making it possible. Nataral Badgerul. Welcome to McBain Moments. So, let's talk about the impossible for a few minutes because there are there are things in our lives that we often see as impossible and we need to know that nothing's impossible generally speaking there are barriers there are stopping points there are obstacles but absolutely nothing is impossible and I believe that one of the biggest things that keeps us in the cycles that we find ourselves in whether it's the cycle of not having enough money or the cycle of not having enough success or the cycle of getting into arguments with our kids or the cycle of whatever it doesn't matter what the cycle is we keep running ourselves in orbits as we orbit the sun, as the, sun, as the earth rotates, as the moon ro orbits us, we've got to find a way to break the cycle. And the way you break the cycle is figuring out what makes what seems impossible more possible. You know, it's uh, Sherlock Holmes once, once said, once you've, it's once you've eliminated Once you've eliminated other factors, I'm doing a terrible time paraphrasing this. What was once seemed impossible, however improbable, must be the truth. Well, how about what once could, what seems to be impossible, however improbable, may be the path ahead. And so the goal would be, okay, I have this insurmountable issue. But is it really insurmountable? If I take ownership of this, how can I create the atmosphere, the situation, to make this possible? And you may not be able to do it alone. You still want to take ownership, but you don't have to do it alone. Say, okay, I've got this problem. Well, this isn't my expertise. Who do I know that has this expertise? Well, maybe Jim has that expertise. So I'm going to talk to Jim. Jim, I have this problem. How would you overcome this? And Jim goes, well, honestly, I don't think you can really do it. But if I were to try, this is how I would do it. And so you go back and say, Jim, can you help me do try this? Because we got to get through this problem. And then you run into another issue. And it's like, oh, we weren't expecting this. Well, this isn't Jim's expertise, but this happens to be Nancy's expertise. And so you go to Nancy and say, hey, Jim and I are working on this project. Nancy, can you help us with this bit? We can't figure this piece out. And she comes in and she's like, oh, yeah. This part of the puzzle slots in like this, and you're like, great. And so the three of you are now working on it. You build this team, and you break the impossible into its, in, into its individual parts. And you figure out, okay, when broken down into this, its parts, these pieces are all easily taken care of, and these pieces are more difficult. And this is really the crux of why it feels impossible. And so you go, okay. Who actually understands this piece or group of pieces? And if we have to, we'll break down the impossible piece into several pieces that other people can do. And you all learn from it, and you all work together, and you overcome that impossible goal. It's, it's a matter of resource management. And I know people hate thinking of other people as resources, but it's not in the same way that say oil or gold are resources you can leverage the skills of others you can leverage your relationships to solve problems and oftentimes it's on an exchange you know I go to Nancy and say hey Nancy I've got this problem I know you won't know how to do it can you help me with it and later on she goes hey Julian now I have this problem that I know is your specialty, can you help me with it? And so then I turn into a resource for her, for her impossibility, making the impossible possible. More people waste their time saying it's impossible when really it's just a little bit out of reach. Think about that for a second. More people waste their time saying something is impossible when it is and they just don't want to put the effort forth because it's a little tough. <clears throat> That's why so many people go through life without achieving what they want to achieve. And for some people, it's not even that much. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you don't have to be the next Elon Musk 
to be fulfilled, but you should always have goals, and they should always be just a little bit out of reach. And you should always have to figure out how to stretch your abilities to achieve the next level. Because if you're stagnating, it's a bad place to be, man. You don't want to be there. When you stagnate, you stop growing. Which is obvious because that's what stagnation means. But at the same time, it means that your whole attitude will start to kind of do this. And then you'll stop bothering. And then you'll start to regress. And regression is never where you want to be. You want to keep progressing. You never want to regress. You know, you're moving forward. You're moving up the social ladder, the socioeconomic ladder. You're getting the better job. You're, you're increasing your ability with that skill. You're becoming a better tailor, or you're becoming a better fighter, or you're becoming a better accountant, or you're becoming better in your marriage, or you're developing a better relationship with your kids. And on that last note, I'm here to tell you, developing the relationship with the kids isn't always easy. Especially since you get home from work and you're tired. And you don't want to deal with things. And that's when the kid's like, can I have some of your time? And it's in the act of saying yes, even when you don't want to, even when it's tough. Because you can always say, no, no, I'm too tired. No, I'm watching something. No, I'm doing this other thing. No, i got this kitchen to deal with. No, I've got this meal to make. Your ability to be flexible and engage and grow that relationship with your children will be critical as they get older for their interpersonal relationships. And as you get older, as not only do they, will, will they eventually have children. Sorry, parents of young kids. Eventually, they're going to have kids too. And then keeping that relationship going. What, ha what if something happens to you? It may come a time where you may rely on your own children to take care of you. If you don't have that relationship, you've got nothing. Keep building. Building your life, building your career, building your hobbies, building your relationships. Because if you're not building, things are breaking down. Take a moment. Make sure you subscribe. This has been a McBain moment.